hostility towards the Prime Minister switched from Melbourne to Sydney today, though this time it was verbal rather than violent. Police, embarrassed by yesterday's blunders when Mrs. Thatcher was mobbed during a walkabout, kept the protesters well at bay. This time there were barriers, and this time the police abandoned their softly, softly approach, taking a tough line with the demonstrators. Once again, a mix of IRA sympathisers and gay rights activists. This is 20th century democracy. But behind the official smiles, the recriminations continued. Australian police insisting they had warned against the Melbourne walkabout. British officials angrily denying there'd been such advice. Nevertheless, today, Mrs. Thatcher's walkabout in Sydney was cancelled because police chiefs felt it was far too risky. However, there were few risks deep inside the Australian Navy's submarine warfare centre, where Mrs. Thatcher joined an operational exercise in a submarine mock-up to sink a warship. Fire! Fire! And with the torpedo on its run, Mrs. Thatcher keenly eyed its progress. <laughs> You recognize the ship? Well, I heard you say fire some time ago. Did it ever reach target? It's still on its way, ma'am. Uh, in fact, uh, we're yeah. a bit of tongue in cheek, it's actually the Hermes that we're conducting an attack on. Oh, I'm Mrs. Dodge, it's not long ago now, you know. We, that's, that's we right, sounded for India. That's right, ma'am. It was a very, very good ship. I'd been on it. <laughs> The Hermes was in the task force sent to the Falklands. Diplomatically today, Mrs. Thatcher didn't stay because the war games ended with the Hermes being sunk, something the Argentines failed to do. Our tide, as much as other people, but there is nothing in sanctions that will improve the situation. It will make it worse. Whatever makes people who put the questions that you do think that by adding starvation of black families and black children. But there is and, already and, starvation. And poverty. There is already poverty. There is some poverty and Operation Hunger, in which we have a good part to play, and some of the help we give relieves it. You want to take the small amount, the poverty that there is, the starvation, and the add small to amount it of poverty. Enormous, did you say? enormously. Did you say, sorry, did you say there was a small amount of poverty? Comparative to what you would have with sanction. The people who want Britain to put on sanctions do not put on sanctions themselves because they know the devastating effect it would have on the black South African people and they know the devastating effect it would have on the economies of the frontline state and the economies of those people there. We're out of time, but there is one last very quick question. No, I'm sorry, you're, we're out of you're time. You're 62 years of age. I had promised someone else. I had promised someone else an interview, so I will go to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Commonwealth foreign ministers have... Meeting over their conclusions published, it was clear the Commonwealth Committee had no new sanctions to announce. Instead, they'd agreed to campaign for existing measures to be observed more strictly. I can't think of another Commonwealth meeting in which we have achieved so much in so short a period among such a wide range of countries. South Africa responded immediately. No, no sovereign state can, uh, can permit the... the, uh, the uh, um, interference uh, in its internal affairs by other countries. Britain was absent. Mrs. Thatcher opposes sanctions, a view she repeated when asked about the meeting. The enormous problems which that country has of getting rid of apartheid would not be helped by from a comfortable luncheon or parliament building or international conference in a five-star hotel deciding that there should be poverty and starvation on the part of a large number of black people because we would choose to impose comprehensive sanctions. Even so, according to the Commonwealth report, the limited sanctions Britain applies have cut British buying from South Africa by 20%. America's imports are down a third, and Scandinavian countries like Sweden and Denmark are down 60 and 96%. But the report names six other countries as stepping in to fill that gap. Italy and West Germany increased their imports by 10 and 30 percent. Spain's went up 84 percent. Japan, now South Africa's most important trading partner, lifted imports 44 percent. And Turkey and Taiwan showed the biggest increases, 132 and 146 percent. The report says Turkey now buys South Africa's cheap steel and many suspect it's sold on at normal prices. And South African coal, it's believed some countries buy it, mix it and sell it on as their own. 
other countries are simply attracted by the exceptionally low prices, a deliberate South African policy. In a competitive world, this makes it uh, highly likely that some countries are going to be tempted to buy the coal, and that's exactly what happened. And in fact, South African companies were selling coal at below cost in order to get the coal out of the country and earn foreign exchange. And to a large extent, the strategy worked in terms of undermining the impact of sanctions. But gold escapes all sanctions. It's too important to the world economy. And although some measures, especially financial, are being felt, sanctions as a policy won't have a significant impact till South Africa's trading partners all agree to stop.